We welcome in our co-host, the Admiral Bill Stubblefield, two star. Good morning, Rob. It's getting me close to sweater weather out there. It's cool this morning. I think that you might actually need one. It was 51 degrees uh, in the uh, six o'clock hour this morning. Brrr. It was chilly. When I was working out, I had my little fleece on this morning. That is the uh, voice of Maria Lawrence and All Star. Good morning. The Queen Bee. Good to be here. Good to see you, Maria. Good to be seen. Wonderful to have you here. Thank you. Pleasure's all ours. I'm very happy to be here. I was looking at you uh, walking in on the promo with that leather jacket. Now, did you really walk in with your leather jacket today? Not today, no. Not quite Not quite that temp I yet. Will, it's going to be 90 by the weekend. I know. So I know. I can handle the walk from the car to the step. <laughs> it's about four feet. <laughs> six feet if I park a little further away. <laughs> and, and what is Gil Strap going to ask you to air condition that section of the parking lot as well? Gil Strap comes in here. First off, and, and he complains that it's hot, but he's coming in here. He's wearing like long underwear. Remember long underwear? Do you yeah. remember long underwear? Yeah. Who? Bucky yeah. Uh, Hayes. Uh, Woody Hayes from Ohio State. Yeah. Always wore just shirt sleeves. Only found out later they had long underwear under his shirt yeah. sleeves. So he'll, he'll he come was in not and go. The man he thought it, he was. It's hot in here. Like, it's not that hot in here. Yeah, and he'll turn the AC down to like 38. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like 38 yeah. degrees. Yesterday he did that. I was sitting there going, Bones are aching. I didn't even know I had joints. Are what is that? What's, I what's was staying with a friend this weekend, and her she keeps her house at sixty five. Oh, and I'll tell cool. you, sixty five is is a little cool in the summertime. It's so. a lot cool. But you yeah. go outside; it's ninety five yeah. degrees, yeah. ninety eight. Come yeah, in at sixty five. Exactly. Oof. Are those Penn State tickets? I have in my hand. Oh my goodness! Not Penn State. Penn State tickets. Ha. Oh. As we welcome in our first guest of the day, Lisa Henry from the Backpack Program. Lisa, good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah. So these tickets are for the Penn State game, August the 31st. Colin has a graphic uh, of uh, where the seats are. It's section 103, uh, row 41, and then there's four seats together. I guess it's uh, 110, 111, 112, 113, 112, 111, 110. There you go. So what we're going to do with these tickets is Mr. Hornby has donated these to the cause, and we are going to auction these off. Whoever bids the most money gets the four seats to the Penn State West Virginia game. I'm told conservatively that these seats are being sold in the resale market for at least $300 a piece. And I'm told that's even a low estimate. And the Penn State fans are livid because they're not available to yes. Penn State fans. So. I, I, I will. If you are a Penn State fan, however, and you, you listen care. to the show, Come. I will. We will. Because this money, all of it, every single penny is going to go to the backpack program. Oh, that's in, in, awesome. In Berkeley County. And there's a couple ways you can do this. You can put your bid in on Facebook in our comment section. You can call 263 6540. Colin's ready. Or 263-6586. <laughs> Either of those two numbers. Colin will take your name and your, your bid. And we'll, uh, we're will we going to do this in such a way, it's not just during this half hour. Uh, we'll do this in such a way that uh, we'll wait till we get the best price we can get for these. Now, I'm not saying we're going up to August 31st, but recognizing that people are busy at different times of the day. We want to give people a chance to bid on these. But put your bids in now, and we'll go from there. And bid high. It's for a good, good purpose. Yeah, tell us about the backpack program, Lisa Henry, as we have started a new school year. That's right. School was back on Monday for the students, and the backpack program is back to help any families with students in need that could use help with food over the weekends or other times when their kids aren't in school, such as uh, Thanksgiving break, winter break, spring break. And we're an all-volunteer organization that puts together non-perishable food bags every week and takes them to the schools for the kids to take home in their backpacks so they have uh, food for the weekends. Mm -hmm. And it just helps ease the financial stress for some families. So if you're listening today and this is something that you'd like to learn more about or you think that your family could benefit from, just call your child's school and ask to sign up for the weekend food bags. And, and that's all you have to do. Cool. Is there a mean test at all for the acceptance of the uh, backpack? 
There are not. Um, mm-hmm. We don't have um, any paperwork or income requirements. Um, we don't have the USDA food that we don't get that. Mm-hmm. So we don't need sure. that paperwork. So if a family feels they're in need um, or school counselors uh, know of a family that maybe has come upon hard times, uh, they'll send the forms home and see if the families want to participate. So it's for families that some families have used it year after year. Other families just use it temporarily. Yeah. Do all all the schools in the county participate yes so there are two weekend feeding programs in berkeley county berkeley county backpack program which is ours and kids power pack um, and they also do most of the schools in jefferson county morgan county um, uh, morgan backpacks has a, a the same program as well so all of the eastern panhandle is covered so talk a little bit lisa you've mentioned before what the process is for um, for children who need or want to take, or their families want to take um, uh, part in the backpack program. What does a child have to do? What does a family have to do um, to facilitate that? And before you answer that, Lisa, here is the, we have our first bid. That's the coins going to the piggy bank. First bid, Michael Height, Panda Printing and Design, $1,000. That's oh, our first Oh, thank you, Michael. Bid. All huh? right, he that he already beat the number I was going to go to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say a thousand dollars too, yeah. but because you've got you an, go, my kite. You have an interesting mix of in, in your family, do you not? I do. So my daughter is a new freshman at WVU. Oh. Just dropped her off last week. So um, be patient with me. I'm I'm recovering. <laughs> it was tough dropping her off. Yeah, it is. Um, so and I have lived in West Virginia for over 18 years now, raised my kids here. So this is my home. I'm repping WVU shirt today. Um, but please however, don't hold this against me. However, but I am a Penn State grad. Yeah, that, how, that's okay. <laughs> the, We're okay. So I am so excited for the game on the 31st. The undergrad Penn State? Yes. Does Penn State have a law school? Now they do. It's Dickens or uh, was Dickinson Law School in Carlisle. Right. At the time they did not. Um, I went to Boston University Law School. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, back to the question Maria asked <laughs> yeah. you, which I don't remember what it was. Do you? Oh, how, how do families sign up? Yeah. Exactly. So um, if your child's in um, elementary grades, you can just write a note into your teacher that you would like uh, for your child to receive the weekend bags. The teacher will let, usually it's the counselors at the schools that are our contact and let us know how many students they have signed up, and we deliver those bags each week. For the older grades, I would say it's best to uh, call the office, and you could ask for guidance as well, um, and just request that, and um, the school will take care of it from there. So the schools then keep track of the kids, and they let us know every week how many bags of food they need. So that will fluctuate um, as they sign more children up. Um, the counselors are on it. They sign them up very, very quickly. And... Um, Last year, we ended the year about 780 kids per week, so that's what we expect again for this year. So, Lisa, you've mentioned the weekend backpack program. Is there a backpack program during the week itself? No. So, um, we're there to fill the gap on Saturday and Sunday, or if it's a three-day weekend, for example, um, because most children will receive free breakfast and lunch at school. So, um, we just provide the food for those for the weekend um, what about dinner for the for the for the kids so uh, i i believe there's some organizations like um boys and girls club mm-hmm. and um that that will provide hot meals and there's various mm-hmm. churches that have them um a few times a month as well so sure. um but that is that can be a gap in uh, many um families so um, there's other organizations that can help as well of course um, ccap is wonderful Uh, they're open um, every morning during the week and families can go there um, to pick up extra food to help out as well one thousand dollars is the bid for these four west virginia penn state football tickets august the 31st at milan puskar stadium section 103 all the money is going to go to the backpack program in berkeley county which helps to put uh, food in the backpacks of kids whose families can't afford to feed them. Frankly, uh, we're told that uh, sometimes these kids uh, will take these, uh, the food home and this is the only food that they're going to get the rest of the night until they get back to school the next day or over the weekend. 
And we know stories of students in Berkeley County schools who uh, the older brother or sister won't eat so that the younger brother or sister will be able to. And these are the kind of things that the Berkeley County Backpack Program uh, services addresses and hopes to mitigate in our area. And your bid on these tickets can help that continue. Right now, that bid set by Michael Hyde at $1,000. That's the floor. Yeah, Maria, don't let Mike be out there all by himself. Go ahead and bid. I'll come in. I'll come in. I'm going to wait. I know how this works. (laughs) (laughs) The point is that you get in there, you you jack up the bids, and then you get out before you have to pay. Right, Bill? (laughs) Right, Bill. Right, Bill, yeah. Yeah. Lisa, how long have you been in the backpack program, and why did you get into the program? Uh, So the program, we're going on our 14th year and I've been with the program for about 13 and a half years. So my daughter who's now a freshman in college, um, when she was in kindergarten, um, I was looking to get more involved and I heard from some friends that they were getting together a program at Hedgesville Elementary School, which is where she attended kindergarten, and that there was a need for these weekend food bags. Um, And I thought, you know, in my head, I was like, oh, there's probably a couple kids, you know, hungry at the school, but um, that could use this program. But no, the need is much greater. It's about one in six children live with food insecurity in our county. And so the need is very great. So I said we feed 780 kids per week, but I think that number could be much higher. Um, if everyone used our services, who could, who could use it? Now, you're a 501c3, are you? Correct. Okay, yeah. Now, is Backpack, is that a national program, and you're just a local affiliation? How does that work? So, um, the term Backpack program came from Arizona when the first piloted program that we know mm-hmm. about from a nurse in Arizona, and, um, and it kind of grew from there. So, we are affiliated with Feeding America, and... So they have, and our food bank is the Mountaineer Food Bank in Gassaway, West Virginia, and we can purchase food from there by being a member of that food bank, which many other um, nonprofits in Berkeley County do as well. Including CCAP. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, And they come to our county twice a month, and um, they have food we can order. So we can order from the backpack program food, so of course all non-perishable, kid-friendly food. And um, there are different types and shapes of backpack programs all across the state and the country. Ours is one of the biggest ones in West Virginia. Many of the smaller counties, it might be a church covers one school or a couple schools um, or an organization does one school. So ours in West Virginia is a little more unusual that we are so large because Berkeley County is such a big county. So talk a little bit about your general donations. Do people donate food? Do they donate um, money? Is it both? Um, and what do you need most of? Like no green beans, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember think... <laughs> certain things that you're just like, mm. nothing perishable. Nothing perishable. Nothing perishable, perishable or glass. Um, and you can also, when before you donate food, um, check the Best Buy date. While that is not an expiration date, um, just be careful when you you feed uh, clean out your pantry for donations that you want to give stuff that has still a good Best Buy date. And also things that don't take a lot of prep, correct? Like uh, maybe this is CCAP. I'm having sort of memories of what people need. But, you know, when you give macaroni and cheese, then you have to have milk. or uh, So you want to get more pre-prepared that either can go in the microwave or it's just ready to eat little fruit cocktails, whatever. Yes? Correct. Yes. So we uh, prefer food that is um, ready to eat for the smaller kids so um, they can serve themselves if necessary. So some of the favorites are the microwave macaroni and cheese, the canned uh, SpaghettiOs. Um, we, we did a survey over the summer. SpaghettiOs were very popular. <laughs> um, You're and- breaking my heart, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> and spaghetti. that's what the kids like. Chef Boyardee. Jeez. Um, Do you remember? No. Did you we, eat spaghetti? No, no. We know we never ate spaghetti out of a can. <laughs> I know. My grandmother I, was off the boat from Sicily. I know. There was that's no spaghetti true. in a can. I, There's no jar. Not in a can. There's no jarred sauce. I know. Those kids need to be making that sauce twelve hours on the stove on Sunday. Come on, Henry. Don't let them off easy. <laughs> um, and the other favorites: um, individually wrapped snacks. Um, 
all different kinds. So when we get food donations, that gives us more of a variety, sure. which is great. Um, but uh, food donations is a small part. Of course, it's always great to have food drives done by local churches and schools and businesses. But money is... Um, we need money to run and this program um, to run every week are, and over the years very expensive. It's about $15,000 per month um, to make sure we keep the same quality of food bags and getting them to every child who needs it. What kind of spike did you see with the inflation and uh, then the shrinkflation that we saw in stores to, for them to help keep the prices down as much as they could? So last year, our numbers... I guess two school years ago, the numbers really skyrocketed. We were almost 700, and then um, about 650 went up to 700, and the last year we were at 780. So we have had an increase in the requests uh, for the food bags. Yeah, and then the price of the food has gone up so high, too. Yes, it has. Yeah. So were you, were you around $10,000 a month a few years ago if you're at 15 now? Yes, I would say, yeah, that's accurate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all volunteer organizations still, Lisa? Correct. Yep. Okay. No one is paid. So all our volunteers, um, and in fact, it costs many of our volunteers to participate because when they deliver those food bags to school, that's their own gas, their own vehicle. And so um, our volunteers do it because they really care about the kids in Berkeley County. And, you know, it, it's a simple way to help kids, but show that the community cares about them as well. And you have a lot of retired educators who volunteer for you, too. I met many of them when we did a broadcast from one of your food packing locations a few years ago. Uh, yes, that is correct. So we've had formal, former principals, uh, counselors, teachers, um, and we have currently right now two teachers of Berkeley County on our board of directors as mm -hmm. well. So uh Berkeley County Schools is, um, helps us out a lot with this program, and I want to mention the counselors and the teachers at the school who, once we deliver to the, to the school, then it's up to them. So it's extra work on them to make sure the kids get their food bags every week. So, for example, in elementary school, the teacher will put the food bags in the kid's backpack, usually at a time when the rest of the class isn't there at recess or when they're at specials. And the older kids... They usually take their kid their backpacks to guidance or some other place in the school so they can pick up their food bag discreetly as well. And how many volunteers do you have? So we have about 20 regular volunteers who come every week. And then we will fill in um, with other people. We have uh, Blue Ridge students who need volunteer hours for their scholarship. Um, we have sometimes we're bagging for Thanksgiving break, for example, and we'll have a business or group come in to help with that. And you may have said this earlier, but if somebody wants to donate food, is, can they carry it to any school or do they have a particular school that you carry it to? Probably um, if you're you can make donations to the school and our delivery team can pick them up when they go. But most of our donations go to our drop boxes around the county. Um, I'll name some of them. We have um, BCT Bank, um, who right now is doing a fundraiser for us and other backpack programs in our region, um, Pack the Pack. Um, and all of their branches are a Dropbox for us. And they're used to getting donations for us. They send me an email. I go pick it up. And um, so that is probably our, our, our biggest one also at... Um, the libraries, and we have a list of drop boxes on our website as well. Hey, a uh, couple things here real quick before the segment ends. Maria, just uh, mention once again, we have four tickets to the WVU Penn State game. This is a home game for West Virginia, August the 31st. Four seats are together in Section 103, Row 41. Mike Height has set the bid at uh, $1,000, so we build from there. All the money goes to the Berkeley County Backpack Program so they can continue doing the great job that they do. You can bid on our Facebook page. Uh, you can bid by calling at 263-6586 or 263-6540. We'll keep the bidding going throughout the course of the show today. But right now, you're getting at least $1,000, Lisa Henry. Nice. And, and Mike height standard is going to be short-lived because Maria is getting ready to pass. Um, yeah, I'm coming yeah. in, but but I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I have a, I have a theory. Height, what do you think? How high are you going? <laughs> 
Um, no, you're not kidding. <laughs> I was going to ask, too, I think it speaks very highly the fact that you do have retired educators, current educators. They obviously then recognize the importance of the program and the need of the children out there. So, yes, because they see it directly. Um, right. They work with the kids every day. They know the families. They might have taught their siblings. And so... I, that does just go a lot to show how much our educators and our school staff here kept care about the students in Berkeley County. Well, Lisa, how many, you have done this, I think you said 10 and a half years? 13, 13 and, a half. and a half. I remember the person, I don't remember her name, but I remember the person who preceded you that was come on the show and do this. Jennifer Yader. That's it, mm -hmm. Jennifer She's Yader. the founder of the program, yep. and she's still on our board of directors. That's wonderful How many lady. board members, Lisa? We have nine. Wow. Mm -hmm. how, great. how have you been able to take the emotional toll that a job like this takes on you? How have you been able to survive that for 13 and a half years? It is, and in nonprofits, it's known um, to have burnout. Um, and this is, I have a full time job. Um, doing the backpack program is something I do um, in, your when spare I, time. in my spare time. Yep. And so it, it really um, is a labor of love. And I um, did used to be a uh, permanent sub at Berkeley County Schools. I had my own class for two years. Before that, I subbed. And just seeing how it helps the kids, I mean, that's that's really why I do it. Well, that's perfect reason to do it, and you, have, I guess, have the perfect temperament. Plus, that lawyer training, you get that legal legal background. You you can handle anything. I try. It helps me do the uh, paperwork when I have to file our charity registration with the state and mm -hmm. all that fun stuff. Yeah, and, and does anybody in the backpack program at all get paid on salary in any sort of way? No, no sal. No one's paid. No one gets reimbursed. So all this money, and this is we're talking about at least a thousand dollars right now. And all of it goes a hundred percent to the kids. Correct. That's great. Now you mentioned your. Uh, we just had another query about where to drop everything off. You discussed that a couple minutes ago, but where? What's your website? How do people find you? Find it you? is feed bc as in Berkeley County wvkids dot org. Feed bc wv Berk kids kids dot org. Dot org. Okay. Yep, or just Google Berkeley County Backpack Program. Okay, that's the easiest way to do. Yeah. Yes. All right, I have now seen the second bid and very uh, slyly, Maria Lawrence, and dropped this one on Facebook. $1,250 is the new bid by our own Maria Lawrence Thank in there. Thank you, Maria. Okay, Welcome. Mike, it's back in your yeah, corner. Yeah, that's right. Come on, Height. Stubblefield's going to come in on the end. and <laughs> He, he better. He better. All right. Because he's got the resources, no, as no. we know. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Maria. <laughs> You're welcome. Bill just loves that when people bring that up. I know. Thousand two fifty. What is that, Bill? Five shares of Tesla stock. That's, That's all right. that is. Yes. Have you seen stock, Tesla dude. stock recently? <laughs> yes, it's been doing pretty well. Uh, Lisa Henry, how do we get in touch with you for more information about the backpack program? You can call or text us at 304-268-0635 or send us a message on Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate the work you're doing, and uh, very soon you'll be walking uh, into that building with a nice check. 